Hello friends. Today we are going to talk about basic principles of probability. Let's start with a simple experiment of tossing a coin. What are the possible outcomes? They could be heads or tails. It, they are H or T. These are the possible outcomes of tossing a coin once. Anything that happens for which the result is uncertain is called an experiment. Here our experiment is tossing a coin. The possible results of the experiment are called outcomes. Our outcomes, our results are H or T. All of the possible outcomes of an experiment constitute the sample space. Here our sample space is a set S which contains heads and tails, two single elements. The term event is used to describe a set of possible outcomes of the experiment. So this set H, which has a single element, and T are two simple events because they contain one single element. Now let's get to another experiment of tossing the coin twice. Now, we must draw for this experiment, we must draw a tree diagram. After tossing the coin for the first time, we can get heads or tails. And after the second time, we can get heads, tails, heads and tails. This is our tree diagram. Following all the roots here, we can get the sample space, the sample space S. It has four elements, HH, comma, HT, comma, TH, comma, TT. It has four elements. Okay, one possible event could be the event E1, which has, which contains one single element. This is a simple event. Another possible event could be this, H, 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 T, T, H. This is a subset of this sample space. This is not simple, this event is not simple, since it has more than one element. It has three elements. Okay. Let's go to another experiment, tossing a coin three times. We shall draw again the tree diagram. After for tossing the point for the first time, we can get H and T. For the second time, H and T, H and T. And for the third time, H, T, H, T, H, T, and H, T. Following all the roots here, we can get this sample space, S equals H, H, H. This is the first root. Now, go to the second root, H, H, T. H, H, T. H, T, H. H, T, T. T, H, H. Here, T, H, T. TTH, this root here, and TTT, the last one. So, how many elements do we have here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 elements. Okay, now we want to calculate the probability of an event. Now, to calculate the probability of an event, start by counting the number of outcomes in the event and the number and the number of outcomes in the sample space the ratio is equal to the probability if all outcomes are equally equally likely in the experiment of tossing a coin twice for example you win the game if at least one of the outcomes is h otherwise you lose so our sample space as we saw earlier is this h h h t t h t t which contains four elements and 
the event which is in favor of u is hh h t t h so if we divide the number of elements of e by the number of elements in the sample space we get the probability for u to win which is 3 over 4 3 over 4 or 75 percent so probability of an event is always the ratio of number of outcomes in an event e divided by number of outcomes in a simple in, in sample space s so since the number of outcomes in an event must be less or equal to the number of outcomes in the sample space the probability of an event of an event must be a number between 0 and 1 that is the probability a number between 0 and 1 if the probability of e is equal to 0 then the event can never happen and if the probability is 1 the event is certain to happen Thank you for watching this video.